Welcome to writingalong.com. Today's episode is all about how to write a book in 30 days. Uh, first of all, is that even possible? I talk about that quite a lot on these episodes. And really, it's just a matter of how you want to factor writing in your life. I really think it's completely doable for anyone. Um, a book length, the amount of words you really got to get in there. If it's something you do every day and you know you really get in there every day, maybe you miss one or two, um, it, it all adds up and it all adds up fairly quickly. The reason book writing usually is seen as quite like a long term commitment, you know, years of your life, maybe, maybe just the whole year of your life that you're just writing is because it's finding the time. That's just that matter of, you know, sitting down and setting a schedule for yourself and sticking to it. That whole thing is what's a little hard. It's a little shakier. It's a little harder to get through to people to, you know, how do you convince yourself to say, what? Well, why should I spend 30 minutes of my day every single day for 30 days writing? Like what, what good is that really going to accomplish for me when I can just do it over the course of a few months, a year, maybe two years, longer? Um, and there's a, not really a sense of urgency that's being communicated there. And once you kind of understand that, that um, you can get this done like quick and you're not really going to be sacrificing anything because the, you know, the content, the soul, whatever you want to call it, you know, your unique voice is, I mean, it's flowing through you. It's you're giving it the time when you do get those moments to yourself to write uh, that stuff. It, it comes to you as long as you're not forcing it. If you want to write it, you'll write it. It'll, it'll turn out great. You have a great book in you. Uh, maybe you've already written one or uh, you just you want to be a little faster this time because it does it take a lot of yourself but again you can kind of organize for your own mental health for your own um, efficiency whatever you want to call it in book writing it's something that i would encourage most people to try to do at least try the next book you write if you haven't written one go try to do it quickly and i don't just mean speed write and like just be blazing at the keyboard and uh, whatever comes to your mind, not really what you want to portray. You want to be conscious of what you're portraying as well, too. And that's what getting in kind of a rhythm and kind of a habit allows you to do. When you do something in a pattern, you know, when you're at this kind of rhythmic motion of writing, like, okay, I'm going to do it at this time of day. Um, okay, I'm done for today. I'll do it tomorrow. You get back into it. And sometimes you won't always really... It's weird because, you know, you love writing, but... To get to the page sometimes, it's much nicer to just kind of sit down and go to sleep, especially if you have a lot of other commitments in your life, which is what I want you to do with writing. I want you to fit writing into your commitments. It's it's not like this little um, thing that you're doing that doesn't really stand outside of, you know, this podium of significance that, you know, things in life are given. No, it's, at, it's up there. It's on those things that are really important. It's a real accomplishment uh, that you're going to do, that you're going to uh, share, that you're going to contribute to the human race. It's a big deal. It doesn't mean what you're writing. You don't, The pressure of the world isn't on you to write this most significant, most profound, most insightful uh, just tomb of knowledge. It doesn't have to be that. But you're making something that most people aren't doing. And people are going to find your book in different times of their life. And it's going to mean something to them. You're creating a symbol, this icon, this thing that speaks for you and lives on for you. And that that in itself will really keep you coming to the page. And especially if you're doing 30 days, that is one factor that will keep you coming back. But the remaining factor that I it works for me, it might work. I think it'll work for you because I've seen it work for others as well as a, a lot of the, most of the stuff, if not every single episode of this uh, writing advice I give here. It's stuff that I've shared and discussed with other people. And I, I share stuff that I know works for others that can work for you. And as far as this, really internalize this sense of urgency that you need to have with writing. Because there's two, par there's two parts of it, right? There's two parts of that. There's two parts of this. We're going to break down. If you've ever seen like a little, uh, it's not a flow chart, but you know, something starts at the top, just kind of like a genealogy or a family tree. They do it like in investigations and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, same thing here. The other duality here is that if you don't write it, no one else will. There's, yes, someone might be able to retell something or you might have both seen the same experience or been in the same place, lived through the same decade. How many movies and films and books are there about the 80s? Uh, did someone sit around and be like, oh, everything about the 80s is done, right? I, I can't 
make another. No, I mean, that didn't stop anybody. It's still not stopping people. Uh, and that's not just for that decade. I mean, everything and everywhere. You might have just seen something in your life that, well, others were there. It, it was a, maybe just a group of people and someone, maybe someone else wrote a book about it, right? You still can because your unique voice and perspective is something that can't be offered by another person. And you owe yourself the credit of realizing that, of just kind of, you know, taking a little pride in that. Like, yeah, you know, I do have a certain way of looking at things that uh, while it's not the most unique thing in the world, it doesn't have to be, it could be, but it doesn't have to be, it's my own view. And I, I want to put it out there as a story, as something that people can connect with and understand. That's another sense of urgency that you don't want to neglect. The other one is that you don't know, it's going to get a little morbid, but stay with me here. I, I mean, come on, writers, you're not afraid of a little morbidity here and there. It's fine. In this case, you don't know if you're going to see tomorrow. You don't know uh, what tomorrow will bring, uh, what the future will bring. You have no idea. The next five minutes of your life, the next 10 minutes are, they seem like we always know, right? We have a sense of understanding, a grasp. And it seems like the farther we look ahead, uh, the hazier it gets. Um, you might say, I know where I'm going to be a year from now. How about 10 years? How about 20 years? And that underlying thing is just kind of like, it's like a looser, like it's an illusion in a sense, because you it's all equal. You don't know the next minute. You, you don't. Okay. So as a writer, um, use the time right now that you're, you're, you're able, you know, like you're okay, you're living, you're conscious, you're aware of yourself and your surroundings. You can talk, you can, um, if you have no control of your hands, you know, you can narrate a book. There's all this stuff. But you're alive right now. You're living, you're breathing, and you're thinking. And take advantage of that. Don't take that for granted. Um, you don't want to be in the final moment of your life, unable to move, unable to really do anything. And, you know, the world is kind of slipping away. It's, it's, it's over. And you're thinking, I could have wrote a book. You know, I should have wrote that book. Or, you know, you lose a little bit more touch with how you're able to communicate your thoughts and stuff like that. And you kind of lose... Uh, track of memory. There's the brain degenerative diseases are really real. I know this sounds crazy. You're like, what? I'm I'm not at risk for them necessarily. Like, what are you talking about? But I'm just wanting to really put this in you uh, before you ever reach a point in your life where you never know. I mean, there are a lot of people are going to be listening, like listening to this. People that I don't know. Not everyone's going to comment. Not everyone's going to uh, let me know. But just trust me on this. All right, write your Write your book and take it seriously in that sense. You, you are not promised tomorrow, the next year, the next 10 years. It seems like in general, you know, you're going to be around for tomorrow. You're going to be around for next week. You're going to be around for this month. You don't want to live in fear about that, but you just want to be aware of it enough that, hey, there's kind of a time span to write a book. Um, let me fit it into my life. And even then, do you you can you might have another idea waiting after that other one. And if you're stuck around on this one for ten years, uh, guess what? What did you miss out on? What could you have written in the meantime if you just condensed the book writing process? Because it's really not that requiring of this length of time. You can write a great book in a really short amount of time. And it, it won't sacrifice the quality or anything like that. All it represents is, hey, I was conscious with my effort. I was purposeful in the way that I chose when I would write, how I would write, how long I would write. I would hit this many amount, like this amount of pages, this amount of chapters, uh, word count. People do word count. That works too, especially if you're writing like in a document. And if you're just doing... Um, you know, freehand writing or just typing without that stuff, you know, pages, chapters, like I said, that stuff, some kind of marker you want to hit every day. Um, it's not really limited to a group of people that I think should be trying this either. I, anybody can do this. Book writing isn't some black magic. It's not some art from another you know, spatial species, like, it's just, it's a very human thing. It's something we've been doing for a long time. And if you want to do it for yourself, I recommend you get into the habit of not just kind of stumbling and fumbling over the process, but, you know, getting a system for yourself and realizing that you actually can do it in a shorter time. You know, the media would um, be sure that you don't think that that's true, that that's possible, because it can feel like, um, 
oh, book writing is supposed to be this, you know, theme of my life that's just been, you know, an experience of agony that's like, oh, I got to write, I got to get back to the pay, all that kind of stuff. But it, it's not really like that. There's a, some heightened and exaggerated portrayals in popular culture of what writing is. But no, it's not. And what you write is going to be very individual to you too. Uh, if you notice, it was your first video that you're watching on our episode that you're listening to, rather, a lot of this advice isn't do this, don't do that, don't do this, do that, or this is what your writing should look like. Uh, it's more just setting you up in the right mindset so that you know how to proceed for yourself. The type of writing that you're going to produce is it's none of my business. It's none of, I, I'm not here to judge it. I, I don't know what it looks like. I don't want you to write like me. I don't want you to write like a specific thing. I just want you to know that you can write. And beyond just some blind, uh, empty encouragement, I, I want to really give you the practical steps or the practical, um, just key takeaways that you can have and keep with you. I have on my website, writingalong.com, a guide on uh, how to write a book in 30 days. It's beyond just step by step, you know, check, like, do this, do this, do this. It's just, like I said, it's what you need to actually get started and, you know, feel a little less fear when it comes to writing because you don't need to have any of those writing. It, it's pretty natural. And again, it can be done in a very reasonable span of time. You don't got to spend your whole life worrying about it. You can do it and nothing's going to stand in your way. All right. I'll see you around. Thanks for tuning into this episode.